Manish, um, how did you, uh, I'm sure you've seen this film many times. What's your best part? Oh. It's my life, so everything is best in it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's your best part? Uh, so I like it. Uh, I like the part when I give my first uh, income check to my mom. Yeah. It was very, very, um, very emotional. Thank you. Even watching it as a, in the audience, you know, uh, it was very emotional, and um, and that that continues to happen across the culture. Tell us about that. How did you feel about that? Is that because that's not something that normal happens here, let's say in the United States. We like to, but it does. It's not like part of the culture, like as as it is in, in your culture. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in India we say, or in many countries maybe for sure, that uh, especially about uh, ageism, it's in movie, when you become older, like, you know, here everyone want young yoga instructor and all. But when you come to India, when you're more older, you have a more wisdom, you're more wiser, so you have a more knowledge to give. So that's why you say you become a guru when you become more older, because you have much more to give. Guru is the teacher. teacher. Yes. Because in India we say like the first place to God and then Guru because Guru, more than God we say Guru because it gives you a knowledge to reach to there. Yeah. You know, so it's like a very important when you, the person and I'm very lucky that I have Yehuda in my life because if he wouldn't be there and uh, like the teacher, everyone don't get like that kind of mentorship, you know, so much invested. Like he put from his pocket, his emotion, his times and everything where I can't even afford to pay uh, money for a class. Right. Yeah. And, and you were, I guess he first saw you as a street dancer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And many other street dancers, I'm sure, that you yes. grew up with, right? Yeah. Yeah. And making that transition is not always the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, in uh, India, lots of break dancing and hip hop. It's growing a lot, like a lot, a lot. That's how I started because break dance is to be a, being a cool. I still do it. I go to Brooklyn Zoo and I find their community, and uh, I still do break dancing now. I left it for ten years because I was doing ballet and everything. Because I got because that's why I heard because in India there was not ballet at all, not even a single studio of ballet. So I don't know what it is. So he told me that if you become good at it, you will get money and you can have, you will keep dancing because I just wanted to dance because it made me happy. I don't care what it is. You know, it can be hip hop, it can be ballet or whatever. So I did invest in it. And now, like after 10 years, I started finding that I was very athletic and I was gifted in my in own way. So I started going now to a place called Brooklyn Zoo and started doing breaking again. <laughs> yeah. And I do in the morning, I just came back and I was doing a bolero today oh, in the oh, rehearsals. Yeah. And now after this, I'm going to go to Brooklyn Zoo, I'm going to do head spins there. <laughs> so I try to find a balance. Yeah. Well, this is New York, so I, and I'm a hip hop guy, so you got to respect your break dances. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, as, as, as your career has, has progressed, um, there are still many opportunities for you. Where are you going with this? So right now, I want to keep dancing. I did get offers for the movies and all after the, there's another movie that's on Netflix called Ye Ballet. There was a movie in the movie, if you see. So yeah, after that, I did got uh, offers for it, but uh, I never, in, I believe I never invested in acting because I never trained for an actor. I got opportunity, it went really well. And I'm like, thank you God, I have money, I can give to my parents for their thing. But I always invested in dancing. So if someone come to me and say, you're a bad actor, I'm like, I might be, I don't know. But if someone say, you're a bad dancer, I will be like, no, I'm not, you know? So that's the thing. And I always believe God sometimes sees you in a way that he show you a shiny object, one side, and see if he gonna leave this and go. And uh, I really believe in it. So I want to keep dancing for now. Maybe acting can happen in any age, you know? But dancing only, I have some where my body can work. Yeah. I, I like you as a dancer, so. Thank you so much. I think that, you eventually opening a studio to teach next generation? The question is about opening a studio. Yeah. 20 years from now. Yeah. And where do you look forward to 
teaching them a, a future generation? Uh, yes, I sometimes I go and teach also in some university. I was in Georgetown and all here. Oh. And also I have a plan for next year. I want to go back to India and I want to go to every single state in India and give a free workshop to the people who can't afford and I will film them and I can see, I don't have a money about it, but I can introduce now. I know so many people, so many schools who are off, they can afford to give scholarship to these kids. So you're continuing the path of Yehuda. Yeah, because what he did, if I can do one, to one or two people, it will be a giving back. Well, I, I would imagine that, like in the beginning of the film, there was a reality show. Yes. Does that still exist? Yes, it do. Tell us There's about season that. Season seven or eight now, right now, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's, these things are very popular yes. with young people. Yes. How does that work? So the thing is, like, it's a reality shows. You also have here, like, American Got Talent. Like, it's like, India Got Talent, Dance India Dance. And most of the people... Because for me also, I want you to come in a TV and give me a platform. Because sometimes when you're on the TV, people think you're doing something good. Right. <laughs> you, know? you got a lot of money. <laughs> so you think, so I want you to go on the TV, so my parents let me do dancing. Oh, it's a nice question. Yeah. So I was like, that was the thing. And many people want to do that because they want to be like uh, shown like what they can do. Like when I was uh, young, I never did dancing. I never did a, even a single race or sports because my parents can't afford it. So when I was, I was in a school, not good in education, nothing. But then I thought if I can do a backflip, I will get noticed. Mm. So the whole thing, I start dancing because I wanted to get noticed and everyone want to get noticed. Yeah. So yeah, it, the reality shows, this TV shows that it give you a light on you and show your talents and all. And there are many happening in India like that. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm going to take some questions. Any questions? Please don't be shy. Yes. Oh, you know. How old are you? Very young. <laughs> You're very young. I'm 30. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I know you touched on it a little bit in the last question, but um, after your experience being on set for that blockbuster film in India, do you feel like there's any way, shape, or form you want to go back to the film world at any point in time? Yeah, if opportunities get like when I'm ready to go back and do, of course, I would love to, still I get offers for that. But uh, yeah, I have to invest in it too. Like I can't be just go because there's already moving me, put me somewhere, because I have to learn all the scripts and everything. I know you are an actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> He's my friend. <laughs> so don't embarrass me and ask me weird question here, <laughs> okay? <laughs> But it's good marketing for wherever you're going. If you're in the film. It's, good. it's, good. it's got to be, uh, you know, got to be good at it. Questions? Yes. Um, yeah, incredible. You know, this is my second time seeing the film, so thank you again for, you know, joining joining us with Ralph's hip hip hop programming and the Culture Connection series. So yeah, it's just so rich on so many different levels. Um, can you, you know, just maybe talk a little bit about, you know, because it's also about, you know, community and relationships and family and, you know, which are, you know, so important as well. Yeah. Can you just fill us in, you know, and a couple of the different people like uh, your uh, mentor, Yehuda, you, you know, your family and uh, maybe your other, um, the other person you studied with that wound up at the Royal Ballet that's now mm -hmm. the Miami City yes. Ballet. So maybe could you just like, are you still in touch with them and what's going on with them a little bit? Yeah, Just so briefly. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Yehuda is right now in India mm -hmm. and uh, he liked to be there and uh, he have a community there mm -hmm. because he have a family that's a dancers and I am also his family so I always say that go back to village and my family say we'll take care of him. Yeah. But he just want to, he's like I want to just go every single day teach till the time I'm going to be in my, mm -hmm. you know. So he just want, don't want to leave the studio. And that's good. Mm -hmm. You know, he's... Awesome. Yeah. And uh, Amir, he's dancing. Right now, he's not in a Miami city. He's in LA. And uh, he's working with the different projects and all. Mm -hmm. And we stay in touch. Whenever we go back to India, we take a class with Yehuda. Oh, and many people come and uh, they watch. Because we grew up from there. So new dancers and young generation, they come to the studio and they watch us. Like, mm -hmm. oh, they were the two guys mm -hmm. who started. So... 
So yeah. you, young people know who you are, young or where, very well? Yeah, so in India, yeah, kind of people <laughs> did know me yeah. because uh, uh, me and Ami was uh, one of the first poor. That's why a little bit the limelight happened because there was no balance and these two guys started doing and this old guy came from abroad and start teaching them yeah. and they dance in the butt shot, not clothes on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so that was the thing. Too. It was a reason because we used to do four classes a day and it was very hot. Yeah. So I didn't have so many t-shirts. You know, it gets like wet. So I t we used to remove it so we, during the class. Yeah. And, and is that one of the reasons why you want to go back and give back in a way? Yes. Yeah. Also right now, also sometimes I feel like that also because uh, people have lots of hopes on me. Yeah. Because also I started, because when you're a ballet dancer, you start very young. And I started when I was 21. Oh. Yeah. So every now, and because also reason there's no schools. There's no education about it, when to start and all. When when I get to my senses, when I wanted to dance, I was already old. It's the same people are there. They're starting when they are 17, 18. So now they see they see that, okay, Manish made it when he was 21, so we can too. So sometimes it also become a responsibility in a way. But then also it's like a little bit pressure too. Like when you can, like, you know, you have to be really good, very nice. You have to keep going. Yes. Um, it's very nice how you talk with your family and everything like that. And I like you got to end. But you gave grandma a big old hug. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like that. She went to bat for you, right? Yeah. She told your father yeah. uh, to at least open the door yes. and give you a shot yeah. to do that. And that's a good thing. Thank and you. You're blessed. Yeah. yeah. Have you been involved in any hip hop videos? Not yet. <laughs> because I, I uh, left when I started doing the ballet oh, okay. because uh, I didn't want you to get injured. Oh, okay. I did got injured a month ago. I tore my two oh, ligaments okay. <laughs> and uh, today was my first day in the rehearsals and went good. But I am doing break dancing again. Okay. Yeah, I am. Nice. Like uh, yes. today I'm going to go and do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. honestly. Good. Questions? Questions? Yes. I can't sing. <laughs> the only thing I can act, I can dance. I can't That's sing. What I mean, though, the ensemble, because the ensembles are, they provide the background. Like the yeah, ensemble. but it's also you have to be part of a union, and I'm an international dancer. It's very hard also to mm -hmm. sustain here as an international artist because uh, you have to pay money to the government <laughs> so you can stay here and also pay taxes to everything. And uh, I can't afford that, so yet. Right. And yeah, that's a hard thing when you're international dancer. You come, you leave family, everything. You try to make money here, and then you can't even like sometimes you don't even can't, can't get a part of a union. And if you're not a part of a union, you can't win the Broadway. So it's a uh, yeah. What What are the, the some of the most difficult hurdles that you've had that we might not know about from not from seeing this? Yeah, like, you know, my life is more than this, not just 80 minutes. <laughs> so, of course, there were many things, but... Uh, like? Like, like saying, I miss a lot of things with my family. Like, my, when my sister got married, I was not there. There was, and I paid for it and everything. But, yeah, but the thing is, like, dance gave me a lot but it took away also from a lot because it requires something not money than sacrifices something you have to trade in so i did miss a lot of the things like uh, now she have a baby and i couldn't i i was not there too you know so it's like i don't know and they can understand when she had married i was performing in a kennedy center i'm like i can do and then i was in a zoom and then i stopped it and i went to the class and you know, I'm like, you know, Manish, that's the world you have. Yeah. But you want it. Wonderful, wonderful films. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is really not that, it's not a given that parents react the way they put them Thank you. And there's a, a, a theme in the beginning when you first go to some of the ballet classes, you, you know, have this expectation that people are very uppity people. Yes, yes. 
And what is your experience with, and that's true. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> but it's very expensive. I don't know how I got into it. It's so expensive, so I, because- Any, pre any prejudices you felt? Yeah, yeah tell us like about. right now also, most of the Bollywood actress and all, they go to ballet class because they want to say that they do ballet, yeah. because it's like a hobby to do a ballet, you know, to do a ballet dancer and yeah. that kind of thing. But also it requires a lot of money, like especially for the girls, because the point shoes, hundred dollar and every two weeks they have to change, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it required a lot of money and uh, coaches, private lessons and everything. So I didn't have that. Like I gave myself a gift on my 21st birthday to be in the class because one guy told me that you are, if you're learning by yourself, you're so good. If someone teach you, you will be very good. Right. So I was like, okay, that was stuck in my head. My birthday was coming. My father gonna give me this much money. My grandmother, my uncle, my aunt. I took that money and gave myself a gift to, to do this. And I saw there like people are coming. Like uh, I was coming in the two or three train I used to change. And people was coming in the nice Mercedes and everything. And uh, I, I didn't have, everyone can speak English. That time I couldn't speak English also. And uh, yeah, but I did my homework. I make my splits and everything because I wanted a scholarship. And then they say, if you want a scholarship, you have to do ballet too, because that's a part of the scholarship. I'm like, I'll do anything, just give me scholarship. I just want to dance. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. When you were learning to speak English, did you have a special person to help you? So, in India, we study in English, but just we don't talk. We read and everything, all the subject, everything. But we don't, we don't talk, we talk in normal language with the friends and everything. But Yehuda can't understand. So I have to force myself because I want the education from him, like all the knowledge. So broken, whatever, I was like, I'm gonna speak. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I started speaking English because I wanted to learn and uh, he can't speak Hindi. So. And then French came too in the ballet. <laughs> so then, then it's like, I'm like, which word is English and which word is French? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much.